I know a lot of you are sick and tired of hearing about Kyle Busch and contract rumors, but let's be honest, Kyle Busch is one of the few household names that NASCAR has at the moment, so whenever something happens about him, big news, we have to talk about it. The new update is regarding this weekend's episode of the Door Bumper Clear podcast, which again brings up another rumor, but keep in mind, this is DBC, they have been right about a lot of things that goes on in the NASCAR garage, or at least very close, says this about the update on Kyle Busch's contract. We're in August, so if you've got Chevrolet now entering the conversation to come after you, and you've got one Ford team that's talking to you, and Gibbs has essentially potentially stopped talking to you, you don't have a lot of options if you're Kyle Busch, and you're too damn good to not race a cup car next year. So yeah, it's a complete 180 from what we heard one week ago at Indianapolis. At Indy, we were under the impression that things are going to get done. Kyle felt more comfortable. He was more open. He felt more calm and collected about the situation. Remember, he said he he, want, he would take a bridge. He would take a lower pay cut. To me, I thought, and what everyone thought, that, okay, that means he's trying to get a deal done with Joe Gibbs. They're trying to get him back. Well, now with this new report saying that Joe Gibbs has essentially stopped talking with Kyle, I don't know what happened, but it's a complete 180 from what we saw last weekend at the Indy Road Course. Now, we know Kyle Busch and Joe Gibbs Racing, they have struggled since 2019. Yes, he did win the championship, but you have to understand, for a good portion of the second half of the season, Kyle Busch was not winning races until the season finale at Homestead. But since then, one win in 2020, that was at race 34 of the year at Texas. 2021, he wins two races, but then this year, one win at the Bristol Dirt, and that was a race that was handed to him. He didn't, I don't want to say he didn't earn it, but he was nowhere near in contention if it wasn't for Reddick and Briscoe crashing each other. So he has not had a great couple of years, including this year, when not only did he, has he only scored one win, he has had the last seven races, he has finished out to the top 10, which is the worst streak he's had in his entire cup career and now we are almost mid-august i mean the playoffs is three weeks away we have 12 12 13 weeks of racing to go in this entire season so now you really have to start thinking about it is right down to the line right down to the wire of kyle is either in or out and joe gibbs essentially according to dbc is done with kyle bush and i feel like they're getting ready to have ty gibbs replace kyle in the 18 car next season now, we have to discuss the other parts that we mentioned in that podcast. Chevrolet has entered the conversation, and one Ford team is talking to him. That Ford team is Stuart Haas Racing. That has been confirmed. We know that. It hasn't been announced it, but we know he's talking to Stuart Haas Racing. More than likely, for the 41 car. I feel like more than likely, Eric Amarillo is going to pull a Tom Brady where he says he's going to retire, and then much later season, announce he's not going to retire. I see that happening. I definitely see Kyle Busch going to the 41. I've stuck with my guns since I first made that video a while back. Kyle going to the 41. But now with discussions about Chevrolet, who would that be? It's down to two two teams, I feel like. It has been reported that Trackhouse may be considering that situation with that Project 91 car. They could turn that to a full-time team. But I think the likely options are Hendrick and Colleague. Now, Colleague, the thing is with Colleague is this. Colleague, they may have the money. Matt Colleague is, you know, he has been someone that is willing to throw money to try and get the best out of his team. And I feel like Matt Colleague can bring, if Kyle is willing to take a pay cut, Colleague would be able to throw a lot of money at Kyle and make him their marquee driver to help bring that team stability and to have be, Colleague Racing be taken seriously in the NASCAR garage as they work their way up to the top. But we then have also heard that Kyle Busch has said that he's not that interested in startup teams or he wants to be in a team that he can go out and win races. Colleague doesn't have the speed yet, but depending on how conversations go, Colleague Racing could be a possibility. Now, let's talk about with Hendrick Motorsports. Now, the thing is that Hendrick Motorsports mainly focusing on the 48 car and Alex Bowman. Now, Bowman does have a contract that's set to run through 2023 as well as Ally. Ally has extended to 2023. But the thing is, is that many people believe that, oh, Alex is confirmed to 2023. He should be safe. Not necessarily. It's happened in the past at Hendrick where a driver has been released from his final contract, aka Casey Kane. In 2015, Casey Kane signed an extension that goes through 2018, yet he was released at the end of 2017. They bought, bought him out of his contract. So it's a possibility that could happen with Kyle Busch. If Kyle Busch is on the market, Hendrick Motorsports, yes, they've had prior history, but that's 
you know, the, those bridges have mended. They're on good terms now. If Kyle Bush is on the market, could you maybe buy out Alex's contract for Kyle Bush? It wouldn't be bizarre. It wouldn't be out of the question. Now, it may not make any sense because Bowman, he's proven he can win. He won, I think, three races last year. He's won this year. He can go out there and win races in that 48 car. And also, Ally has a big say in this. If Ally doesn't want to sponsor Kyle Busch, well, then that deal is done. There's nothing you can do about it. Ally, they are in control of that 48 car, really. So they really get to decide who they want as their driver. If they like Alex Bowman, they're going to convince Rick Hendrick to keep Alex Bowman in that 48 car. But if Ally maybe has a change, maybe is thinking about Kyle Busch as a possibility... Rick could definitely buy out Alex's contract and put Kyle in the 48 car. Because again, Kyle says he could take a pay cut. Actually, it doesn't even matter because Rick can afford Kyle Busch whether he asks for a pay cut or not. He can afford Kyle Busch no matter what. So I do see an avenue, a way of Kyle Busch going to Hendrick Motorsports. I do see that as a slight chance. However, I think when you look at it from just the most likely options... Again, Hendrick, small chance, but don't take it out of the question. I think the most likely options will be Stuart Haas Racing and Colleague. One of those two. Colleague, they have two charters. Just inhaling the 31 car and the 60 and the 16 car that's being driven by three different drivers. Colleague could definitely just put Kyle in that 16 car, make Kyle the marquee driver, which gives the team stability and gives the team uh, recognition. The garage will take Colleague Racing seriously as a uh, potential championship threat down the line if you have a driver like Kyle Busch in your lineup. So that's what Colleague Racing is banking on. But then you look at Stuart Haas Racing. Kevin Harvick just won that four car. It it proves that that team can win or Stuart Haas Racing can win. You just need the right driver behind the wheel. Briscoe's won. Harvick has won. Custer has done nothing. Again, I've, I'm, I'm sticking with my guns. Kyle Busch more than likely is going to drive that 41 car. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But all avenues point to Kyle Busch to that 41 car. I think Amarola is going to pull a Tom Brady move, return to the 10 car. I don't see Colleague Racing buying Kyle or bringing Kyle Busch in because they don't have the speed yet. And Kyle Busch has been out and open saying that he wants to be with a team that he can go out and win races in. Colleague Racing is not that team yet. If they make the right moves, they can be a race-winning team in the, in the near future. But yeah, this Kyle Busch contract saga, it just adds another new layer to the scenes. It's like one weekend is this, another weekend is that. To go from what we thought, oh, they're going to get it done last weekend at Indy, to now gives us done talking with Kyle like that is crazy. But again, you have to look at the times we're in right now. We're nearly mid-August. We have 13 races left in the entire season. If you still can't get a deal done... We just have to face facts. Kyle Busch and return to Joe Gibbs in the 18 car. I just don't see that happening. I still believe 2023, Stuart Haas Racing is going to have Kevin Harvick in the 4, Amarola in the 10, Chase Briscoe in the 14, and Kyle Busch in the 41. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.